What's going on, Cancer? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's dive right into your reading. Let's see what we got going on. The Magician, Eight of Cups, whoa, Seven of Cups, and the Emperor. Major opportunities coming your way. And right now, I see you connecting more with your spiritual powers, which is really using that magic, right? The more you're connected with spirit, the more you're connected with your angels, the guide source energy. It's like having the cheat code of this third dimension, right? It's like cutting the line, snakes and ladders, boom, all the way to the top. <laughs> right now, spirit's letting you know there is a major opportunity opportunity way to manifest for you tapping into your spiritual side is exactly how we speed this process up why wait right why wait for this to happen why not let it happen right now i see right now this opportunity is something that is not just one choice you have to make you have to make multiple choices but the answer to the this test right here is always picking what it is that's going to honor your soul right for example you know it's almost like you have to do what's best for you and it's not being selfish but it's you gotta we gotta stop people pleasing what is it that's gonna make you happy right what is it that's gonna help you know uh, uh you be able to be the best version of you and really what is it that what is your priorities like for example say if your priorities were i really want to get rich or i really want to meet my soulmate great now you got to do everything in your power to get you there you got to do everything in your power that you know helps you take one step closer and you gotta let go of energy that's taking you one step back using this uh, uh, sort of uh, mind state and really walking away from any limiting belief habit ideology mind state person even anything that is kind of creating some sort of procrastination or hesitation is the first step of doing so and i also do see here with the emperor energy that there are people around in our energy that are kind of making us feel powerless so whoever this is whether it's being in your energy or even someone that you're giving your awareness or thoughts to this is something that has to get addressed as well so Ask yourself this, like, what is your priorities? For example, you're like, I want to get rich. Okay, well, if you want to get rich, how can we do so? What are action steps we can take? Now, there's action steps we can do that are practical, pentacle. Like, for example, I want to get rich. I want to work for this company. Great, let's hand in a resume. Now, there's also action steps that we can do that are magical, that we are not tapping into. That's money on the table not used, right? What are those action steps? Well, using vibrations, frequencies, metaphysics, quantum physics, right? Really, not hocus pocus, the magnetic energy law of attraction to attract it so hand in that resume then come home rather than sit and dwell which is taking steps back which is a habit mind state that we currently have or we, we may have let go of that and instead visualize that that company calling you back visualize them saying hey we, we loved your resume we would like you for an interview visualize you walking into the office acing the interview high-fiving everyone them liking you so much that they're like you know what we've actually got this other department we want you working there right so it's like these are the things that we can do that is really untapped. And this energy is gonna change your life, Cancer, because I do feel like you are also someone who's very powerful. And I see so many different things happening for you when you start using your superpowers, which is your empathic abilities. And the majority of us are empaths. A lot of us are empaths, and I can feel you are one as well. But you have to tap into your energy. Now look at this, lover's card, two of pentacles, the moon, and the five of pentacles, I see here right now, you are also going to be meeting your special somebody the moment we clear up the energy when it comes to our finances. And I see that you and the special somebody are not only gonna be able to you know, take things to the next level romantically, but I also see you guys starting something together that you're passionate about. I see them mastering their finances. I see that they really got a lot of pentacle energy to them, which is really someone who is you know, uh, imp you know, doing well for themselves financially, maybe a business owner, maybe have a good high ranking position at work, maybe have some investments. And I see that they have all that aspect of their life covered but what i see that you bring to the table which really they're looking for is the spiritual component that's the one thing that they're missing and they're attracted to and everyone's attracted to that right it's in our dna at the end of the day it's like you know if you're going for a walk right and you see someone sitting at the bench you know at a park and they're meditating your initial reaction is wow look at that person they're so smart they're so clever everyone's on their phone and what are they doing they're taking time for themselves and they're meditating you naturally look at them as they are someone who's wisdomous right someone who has their ish together and that's the same thing here it's in our dna we all want to connect with spirit we all want to connect to our spiritual side and we're all looking for someone to help us guide us and just know we're on the right path and i do feel like the more you really tap into that 
bread and butter. That is just the secret sauce right there, right? Tap into your empathic abilities. You're going to notice that the shadows that we have within the limiting beliefs that are kind of preventing us from being our genuine authentic self will start to dissipate. No more this wobbly energy, no more this two pentacles energy of shoulda, woulda, coulda, how do I? And then instead of asking, you know, in a scarcity mindset of what to do, right? How, how am I going to get rich? How am I going to meet my soulmate? You'll notice that you're going to be commanding the outcome. And that's a term Alicia and I coined, right? Command the outcome. So for example, rather than want something, command it, but with love, love and respect, right? Rather than say, I want to be rich, command the outcome. I am going to be so rich that I'm going to help change my life, change my friends and family life, change everyone's life. When I am going to be so rich that when I go to a restaurant, I'm going to tip 50%, 60% because it means nothing. Money is going to be nothing to me. I'm going to be so rich that I'm going to donate stuff. I'm going to be so rich that I'm going to help others get rich as well because I totally understand that happy people around me is the team I'm looking for, right? There's no point in you being the only rich person. When you go, when you go out and about, you don't want to be, trust me, you don't want to be the guy that, that pays for everybody or the gal that pays for everybody. You want to build a team of so many rich people around you that they won't even let you pay. It's much more fun that way, right? So I'm telling you, right now, you have this within you. This is not something you have to be lucky for or know someone or none of this. You just gotta know what you want, set the intention, command the outcome, and at that point, what you did is you basically woke up the beautiful genie in the sky, which is spirit, right? Your angels, your guides, spirit, everyone, they're waiting for you. They cannot tell you to do any of this because they're free will. They can't make you wake up early. They can't make you eat or healthy. They cannot make you, you know, command the outcome. Everything I just mentioned is something we have to do as humans. But once we do this, that's when they help us. That's when they, it's almost like a wave, right? You gotta ride the wave rather than stand in front of that wave and right now spirit your angels and guides when you start doing this you're going to notice the whole scarcity mindset of woulda coulda woulda shoulda is all going to go out the window and everything will work now this is this applies to business as well right if you're waiting at home if you're waiting at your job to get that promotion none of this like i hope i get that promotion is my boss going to give me that promotion no 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 I am going to get that promotion because I am the best employee here. I am going to get that promotion because I know exactly what to do. I am going to get that promotion because I'm the best gal, best guy for the job. This energy is noticeable. Not only are you using law of attraction, magnetic energy, but also your body language, posture, vocabulary, aura, your vibration, your confidence is all there. Like for example, I am. So start saying I am from now on and watch Watch what happens, Cancer. Like, there's not, nothing can stop you at that point. And your angels and guides, imagine confetti going off right now, balloons, every day, just bottles are getting popped right now. Just celebration that you got this right now, because this was your missing piece of the puzzle. Now, look at this three of pentacles, the star ace of pentacles. Oh, so much abundance for you. And the king of swords. So, this is exactly what spirit is telling you. You using this new energy. That's how not only are you going to feel confident, but this third party, whoever this is, is also gonna pick up on your energy, pick up on your new profound sense of confidence. And it appears they have been waiting for this as well. And I also feel like this is the person that's gonna indirectly or directly refer you to an opportunity to improve your finances. Third party could be anybody, right? It could be a boss, coworker, friend, family member, neighbor, stranger, someone you just meet. I meet people all the time, just randomly, right? Just because I, basically anywhere I go, I plan Plant a flag, and that flag is letting people know I am open for business. That flag is letting people know I am confident, that I am happy, positive, and I do so by commanding the outcome, right? I'll give an example. If I'm at a coffee shop or grocery store and I feel the energy is hostile, the energy is toxic, or the energy is nervous or anxious, because people are just trying to get through their day, they're, you know, they want to get in, get out. What I'll do is I'll command the energy. So rather than you know absorb that energy and hold on to it like a catcher's mitt, I breathe in and I go. Ah, and I absorb it through me. And at that point, I emit this vibration and I just feel how everyone's really feeling, right? So the person next to me might be feeling really anxious because they just want to get out of there. They want to go home, see their kids. It's Friday, they're tired, they're beat up, they're exhausted. So because I know how that person's feeling and not what how their body language is or what they're doing, I feel that this person needs help. I'll give them a look. And because I know it's just energy, I'll smile and I'll just kind of give them a little, little look. And in my mind, I'll say something like, you're gonna get home. You're gonna be able to, uh, everything's gonna be good. You're gonna have a great night. And when they look at me, they, they, they see me at first, then they feel that energy. All of a sudden you see their entire facial expression 
ah, calm down. And this is what it means. Like when you command the energy, you're constantly walking around confident. When I do so, now that person feels like I'm approachable. That person feels like they want to talk to me. They're just like, they look at me like, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. How are you? Boom, bada bing, bada boom, right? But this is the energy that we need from you. You have a lot of experience within you. Use that experience. Don't be shy. Use that beautiful, powerful, empathic ability of yours and watch the abundance flow. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses. Till next time, ciao.